Tanga with great virtues, out of compassion for the sake of this assembly and all living beings. Please turn the wonderful Dharma will to teach us how to leave suffering, attain bliss and birth and death, and quickly realize non-birth. Kung tin dai de tang tin vi thu pha phôi cập nhật thi hiếp chung sân tin duyên diệu vào luân nhau đau ngã mùng như há liệu sanh thoát tự đi Cô Đạt Lạc Tốt Chữ Vô Sơn Homage to the Blessed, Noble, and Perfectly Enlightened One. Namo Saranto Suche Doye Elahudi San Miao Samputo Sye Namo Dagnatha Doya Daja Alahade Tamil Tambo Datoa. The unsurpassed, profound, as subtle, one of wonderful Dharma. In a hundred thousand million aeons, it's difficult to encounter. Now that I've come to receive and maintain it within my sight and hearing, I vow to fathom the this one, one's true and actual meaning. Wu Shang 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 Wei Miao Fa Bai Che Wa Che Na Zao Yu Wo Jin Jian Wen Te Shou Chu Yan Jie Zhu Lai Zhe Shu Yi Om Buddhas and Bodhisattvas then bro six page chart, then bro shin ho. Oh, guna advises me to go. Two for pusa, shifu, liu tu, shifu, shangran, go away, shangshi shi me to go. Two for pota, can to look to, what to me hoa, type of greeting, she took a yid of her. All right. Um, Today is the 24th already of March. One more week to go. Next week will be the end of the month. Uh, we are gathered in Rosemead, California to continue to discuss the Vajra Sutra. Uh, well, we are on slide 478. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, continuing the discussion, the Buddha says, uh, Bodhisattvas, when they practice giving, the giving... Uh, uh, as uh, was taught by the Buddha. So you're requesting a Dharma. Let's see if we can do something about that. Um... How about now? No. Okay. Continuing our technical difficulties. Uh, How about now? No change? Still nothing? Okay, well.
Okay, nothing? Okay, well, I don't know. Um, I guess we can power up. Turn off the... Um, turn off the, the wall unit. Turn it off the projector and turn off the wall unit and reset. I think you turn it off. Protect it. No, the light is off. No, yeah, it's coming on now. One more. See anything? No. Okay. See anything? Should be markless. Four seventy eight. Yes or no? No. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties as usual. Um, 478. So the Buddha says that uh, bodhisattvas, when they practice giving, they uh, giving uh, they practice in giving as they are taught, and they uh, look at uh, mark as non marks and living being as non-living beings. Trong kinh Phật nói là Bồ Tát khi mà bố thí thì bố thí như theo lời Phật dạy. Cái phương pháp bố thí của các Bồ Tát làm là đúng theo lời Phật dạy. Phật dạy là sao? Bố thí là không chấp vào tướng, không chấp tướng gì cả, không chấp vào sắc, không chấp vào âm thanh, không chấp vào hương vị, không chấp vào bất cứ cái tướng nào hết. Tại sao? Tại tất cả những cái tướng đều là vô tướng, à, tất cả chúng sanh đều là vô, uh, tất cả đều không phải là chúng sanh. Okay. So this discussion is marked as non-marks. This is this is uh, one of the first shocks for non-Buddhists when they first uh, encounter the, the Buddhist teachings. This is when I'm referring to uh, Mahayana uh, teachings. Um, cái này là cái mà những cái người mà ngoài đạo đó người ta không ngoài cái giáo của Phật giáo đó khi chúng ta gặp được cái pháp giáo lý đại thừa đó người ta ta người ta bị thắc mắc rất là thông hoảng tinh thần tại sao tại cái đại thừa là nhấn mạnh về cái tướng là vô tướng má giá là we stress marks is non marks okay from in contrast hina giá là oh I help to him hina giá là They they encourage you to um, uh, assess the marks. Okay, 
cái này cái sự khác biệt lớn giữa đại thừa với với chuyện thừa cái cái, cái 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 đại thừa thì dạy cái vị là tướng là vô tướng không có gì mà có tướng hết còn bên nguyên thủy họ dạy cái vị nên dùng cái sự nên nên quán chiếu nên soi xét những những cái những cái việc mà những những cái hiện tượng thì xí đó hí nói giáo nào they said you should contemplate and assess mà giáo nói là you should contemplate but don't be attached to it that's a big difference Can you see what I'm getting at? What's the difference between Hinayana says contemplate and assess versus Mahayana says contemplate but don't be attached? What's the difference? She can't be it now. Hinayana says look and judge. Look and make sure you understand, make sure you agree with it. That's what Hinayana teaches. You have to use your intelligence. You use, you use your smarts to assess. And make sure that it's okay with you. Okay? So far, so good? All of you can understand that, right? That's what you're trained to do when you go to school. Excuse me. Uh, thank you. You know, when you go to receive your education, that is you're taught to do. You're taught to use your brains to assess, to make sure you understand, to make sure that it makes sense to you. Right? Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Mahayana is just the exact opposite. It says, Mahayana says, whatever you see, don't be attached to it. And this is very difficult for ordinary people to grasp. Why is that? Why, what, why is that Mahayana stresses marks as non-marks, meaning whatever you see, don't attach to it. That's what it really means. It doesn't say, this is when you read the word, marks as, are non-marks. It's confusing to you because it's, what do you mean, marks as non-marks? It's nonsense to you. Well, actually, what it really means is that your teacher, your Dharma master has to explain to you, non-marks meaning that whatever you see, don't take it seriously. Don't take it too seriously. That's what is meant by non-marks. Marks as non-marks meaning don't grasp. You only grasp, you only attach, be only because you think it's real because this thing is so important. That's Mahayana. This is the essence of Mahayana teachings. Okay? Because Hinayana teaching is very profound in that it says you should depend on your intelligence. You should depend on your smart. You should depend on your understanding. Mahayana says don't worry about it. Okay? You should depend on your wisdom, not your smarts. That's the difference. Cái sự khác biệt lớn lao giữa cái nguyên thủy với đại thừa là nguyên thủy dạy quý vị uh, nên dựa vào cái trí, cái, 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 cái sự hiểu biết của quý vị, dựa, dựa vào cái ốc phân tích của quý vị để mà hiểu cái thế giới này, để mà hiểu cuộc sống, để mà hiểu. Ngược lại đại thừa nói quý vị uh, tướng vô là vô tướng nghĩa là sao? Nghĩa là quý vị bất cứ cái tướng gì. Nghe nó hơi khó hiểu, nếu không có thầy giảng thì lúc mà thầy đọc một mình sách này thầy cũng hiểu, kinh là thầy cũng hiểu vì vậy đó. Tại vì có người giảng thầy biết đó, vô tướng chứ cái gì là đừng có chụp vào cái tướng đó. Cái vô tướng chỉ có nghĩa chân nữa thôi. Remember, non-marks only means that don't grasp them. It doesn't mean that they're not real. Is it clear? Non-marks, that's exactly what it means. They're not marks, therefore why are you grasping? This is a subtlety in the Buddhist teaching. Yes. So, um, wisdom has to be obtained or has to be born within people's life, right? No. You're meditating. Um, I don't know what wisdom means. Wisdom is something. Wisdom is attained by samadhi power. Meditation is the only way. 
No. It's one way. Meditation is one systematic way to obtain wisdom. You don't have to meditate. You still can obtain wisdom. Câu hỏi, this is a very good question. Câu hỏi là về trí huệ ra sao? Trí huệ là phải cần thiền mới được mở trí huệ. Thầy nói không, không cần thiền, đâu cần thiền mới mở trí huệ đâu. Thì cái thiền là một cái phương pháp mà mà nó có cái cái đường lối chắc chắn để cái quý vị mở trí huệ. If you don't have wisdom and you want to open your wisdom, then meditation is one sure way to open open your wisdom. It's not the only way. What's another way to open your wisdom? Nếu khi vị không có trí huệ thì dùng cái phương pháp thiền môn đó thì để là một phương pháp một phương pháp mà chắc chắn con đường đi rõ ràng để quý vị từ từ sẽ mở được trí huệ. Đều không phải là con đường duy nhất. What's another way to open your wisdom? Phương pháp là khác gì? Yes. Master the craft of the trade. Master craft of the trade. Why does it open your wisdom? Well, it's just the experience. Is experience wisdom? No, but the experience, uh, experience throughout everything else that you'll ever do. You know, the, the, uh, the, all, all kinds of little things, you know, like, like cutting a straight line or, or like measuring, uh, like, like once you cut something, once you cut something, you can't put it back together. <laughs> you, you know, a lot, a lot of things. You can you even can, you come can You're referring to experience, not wisdom. Well, you say you said there's no wisdom. Hmm? What you just That's just described is experience, not wisdom. Well, I would say it leads to wisdom. You want to learn about my explanation of wisdom or your explanation of wisdom? Wisdom is not what you think. Wisdom is that is that ability to know the right stuff without thinking. That's wisdom. Is it clear? Yeah. It does not kind of what I said at all. It kind of, it kind of, you have enough experience at something, you master something, you know, you know things. It doesn't just apply to the one thing you master. Because while you're mastering the external craft or trade, you're mastering something about yourself at the same time. That's your reaction. And, and you do learn, you will know a lot of things. I've met a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, artists who carve Buddha statues right. all their lives for 20 years. They know what to do. They don't have to think about it. Does it mean they have wisdom? Do they have wisdom? <laughs> if they have the ability to know what to do next, they're out of habit. Well, is it wisdom? Is it contradict your definition of your craftsmanship? Any words, man? That's no wisdom. That's mastery with no wisdom. What's the difference between mastery and wisdom? Hmm? What's the difference between mastery and wisdom? Yes. Or in that case, the mastery seems to be limited to a certain skill much much more narrow but wisdom I guess has is much broader you know how to act what's the right thing to do um. 
close. What is it? Hmm? In a very narrow sense, for your sake, mastery, you master things, external things. We have no mastery of yourself. Exactly the craftsman I talked about. He masters the art of making statues, Buddha statues. He carves them exquisitely. But he doesn't master himself. Then he know, has no wisdom. That's pathetic. That's pathetic. Because really, when a person masters the craft, really should be able to master himself to a very great extent for mastering the craft. Because that craft gives no self mastery. I think you are wrong there. There's nothing sad about it. It's a beautiful thing to be able to master a craft. It's a skill you have. But to demand from mastering a craft to mastering yourself is demanding the impossible. It's two different skill sets. That's precisely my point. Okay, I'm not You understand? You develop 20 years of your life, you spend 20 years of life mastering a craft, mastering, know, learning how to do something perfectly, exquisitely, but there's only one skill. In order for you to 20 years to master your own self, it's a much more difficult thing to do. Even if you know the techniques. It's still very difficult to do. Okay? Much more difficult than mastering a craft. Much more difficult. You're talking about an order of magnitude of much bigger than mastering a craft. That's the fact. For example, you've spent 10 years of your life to earn a PhD. Okay? through the, the most prestigious university. And this is not knocking PhDs. All right? I'm not knocking PhDs at all. I'm not knocking prestigious universities at all. Okay? And it's very difficult to earn a de- degree from prestigious universities, let's say, like Harvard, the Yale, the Princeton, and University of Berkeley, and, you know, and you name it, Stanford, and Harvard, and so on. Okay? Very difficult. It's not easy at all. You have to devote your life to working at it. Okay? But even so, after you, you earn that degree, it's still not considered wisdom in Buddhism. It's not wisdom at all. That's exactly the analogy. That's the equivalent of that. You're mastering a craft. It's just, just like that. It's very, very far away from, from mastering yourself. The mastery of Buddhism is called wisdom, meaning it requires you able to master yourself. What is, does it mean having mastered yourself? Hmm? With woman Zai Zai Chang, mastery, is to just you you Mastery. Yisu jisu ni lai zuo zhiji de chu. Okay? Yisu jisu ni you chu hui. Guo shu shu, guo shu shu, yi ban de ren, shu qian de, shu qian de, so you shu qian de jing yan, bu shu chu hui. 因为这件是很离得很远的
对，因为是得，呃，你你你你得智慧的很很很难做到的，你可以你可以呃 ，mastery 呃嗯呃,呃，外边的东西，可是可是你不不会呃 mastery 自己，就会需要有智慧的人需要可以 master 自己。OK， 自己做自己的事情。对，对，嗯、那就是智慧。嗯，因为是你可以，你可以，呃，可以知道怎么怎么怎么做东西，就就是外边的东西，很很容易呃得到。可是，呃，可是你呃做自己的主，是很很难，难难难，呃，很难呃难拯救，很难做。OK。The learning to do things outside of yourself is very easy compared to learning how to control yourself. Why is that? Why is that? Why? 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 Why is it easy to master how to write a song, how to play、uh, the piano, how to carve, how to write a book? Okay. How to get a degree? How to invent an airplane? Was extremely difficult. So much more difficult to master yourself. Why is that? Hmm? Why is that? Why? That's one reason. Yes. What else? Part of it, maybe, is it, it's very hard to see yourself, to see the things outside of you and control them. But yourself is you can't. It's hard to even identify where yourself is. Yourself is the one that's, that's looking. Because the self cannot be observed. You can watch someone carve this woodfish. And you imitate it because it has marks. You see, it has marks that everyone can see. Everyone put a value on. Everyone can agree on. But the self has no marks. You cannot see it. How can you master something you can't see? Hmm. That's why it's so. So much more difficult to master yourself because you cannot see yourself. Yes. So if you say the self has no marks, you're talking about the true self. Isn't there? No, I'm not even talking about the true self yet. I'm talking about the self. You, the self, as soon you see yourself, it changes already. That's the nature of the self. It changes constantly. You cannot see it. But if it's changing, doesn't that mean that there are it has marks which are changing? It's one moment angry, one moment happy. The marks are infinite. You cannot see it. Whatever you see is really not yourself. That's why it's called the self. The self has no marks. That's why it's so confusing to see the self. You think you you, you understand yourself, but you don't. You think you understand your husband. You say, "Oh, I I live with him for forty years now. I've seen all these years. After all these years, I know all his patterns." Well, but, but then. But then you really don't understand your husband at all, do you? Because because at the very moment you think he's going to react, it's the way you expect him to to react after observing for forty years, he reacts differently. Right? That's my proof. You cannot even observe your own husband. After forty years, you can't see it. That's how difficult it is to see the self.
The self is so much more slippery, and no one can agree on it. Whether it's when you look at externally, everyone can see this. Everyone can agree with this. And what you go by, you go by the majority of the people who agree with it. Then you're okay. Then you're successful. But the self cannot be observed. You cannot be got at. You cannot get to the real bottom of yourself. Because the self cannot be seen with your eyes. Cannot be seen with your five sense organs, six sense organs. That's why you cannot conquer it. You get it now? This can be observed. This can be seen by your sense organs, by everyone. But yourself, you cannot. If you rely on your sense organs to observe the self, you never see it. That's why worldly people who are so full of themselves, they think they know, but actually they don't. They think they know so much. They think they understand so much. They don't. Until they see their self. Because they still only are deluded by appearances, by marks. Worldly people are deluded by marks. If you think you know, then you are deluded already. You're deluded by the mark of knowing. Yes. Is it? Is it helpful? He disagrees. He disagrees with whatever I say. I say whatever Mark has said, he disagrees. How is it helpful to him? Hmm? But I'm saying that sometimes, I know for myself, um, I rely on you to help me see things of myself I don't, I don't understand is a problem. And you point it out to me and then I can work on it. Ah, you're not referring to your knowledge, but you're referring to the fact I tell you you're wrong. The mark of being wrong. See? If you depend on your intelligence, like Hinayana, they said, use your brains, use your knowledge, use your experience to understand the world, then they're, they're teaching you to attach your marks, aren't they? Right? How does it help? It's right to do that, initially. But at some point in time, you have to let go of that. You have to say that, okay, I got as far as I can with my understanding, with my, my intelligence. But there's something I just proved to you that you got so far until the point where you try to understand the self. That's when you can't. Does it make sense now? We're not telling you to stop thinking, to stop judging. We're telling you that judge, but at some point in time, you have to let go of being so sure that you know. Because as soon as you become so sure you know, that's when you become truly stupid. There's no other way to describe it. You're being stupid when you're so sure you know. You understand that? So it's okay. Yes, it's okay to teach children to learn, to judge, okay? to analyze. But up to a certain point only, then you have to let go. You cannot attach to it. Because it can take you so far. It can, you learn to carve. 
you can carve. This is, let's say, this is the best carving job you can do. It's still not wisdom. It's useful to you. It's useful to the world. It's a contribution of the world. It's important to the world. It helps build the world. But it's not the ultimate knowledge. It's not the ultimate wisdom. Is it clear? There's a different methodology you get there. Through meditation is one. Okay? What's another? Still go back to the question, still unresolved. What's the other way? Hmm? What? How can you help? How does it help? You help. You you help her. You help her uh, cook. You help to read a book. You help her recite the sutra. How does it help uh, you open your wisdom? Okay, it won't. That's another way. Teacher,问题,问题就是,就是,呃,怎么可以开你的智慧?如果智慧是那么重要,所以,我们应该做什么才,才可以开我们的智慧?第一个,你用,你用禅来修,你修禅,就一定会开你的智慧。一定的。So sure that you, if you practice chan, you practice meditation, you will open your wisdom. Has be taught. Wisdom has be taught. Wisdom has to be taught. It cannot be self-obtained. You can't say, I'm going to open my own wisdom. I don't care. Okay? You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You You can't. You can't. You can Okay. Yes. Uh, if, um, I don't know. if we can understand uh, reality of uh, life and reality of world uh, through uh, four noble tru- truth, uh, for example, Buddha's uh, first uh, five uh, disciples uh, became a wisdom through understanding. What is the reality of world? What is the reality of life? Uh, according to four noble truths, uh, suffering and cause and suffering, cessation of suffering and way of suffering. Exactly what going back to slide four seventy eight. Marks, whatever you observe, are non marks. Mm-hmm. What does it mean? Because marks are just phenomenons. Meaning that it's only something you observe with your sense of organs. Phenomenons are observable. Okay? Xiang Fei Xiang Fang Xiang Chiu Shu Ni Xiang Chiu Shu 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 Li the Shu. Meaning, you can see, you can can see, you can you can see, you can see, you can see, you can see, you can can see, you can see, you can see, 
Okay? So phenomena meaning you observe them, you can see them, you can see them, you can experience them. Okay? But your experiences are arisen from nomina. Nomina is the principles behind it. There's a principle why you are experiencing it. Ok? Tướng chỉ là những cái hiện tượng thôi. Cái hiện tượng đó, nó dựa trên cái lý, cái chân lý nó mới hiện, thể hiện ra. Ok? Có nghĩa là từ một đó, cái chân lý thôi nó sanh ra nó vô lượng hiện tượng. From one principle arise countless phenomena. You, people of the world, understand phenomena. You, people of the world, master phenomena. But you, people of the world, fail to see the, the, the principles behind the phenomena. That's why you have no wisdom. Is it clear? Okay. Yi cái người người cái người phàm phu ta, ta, ta quan sát được cái cái sự kiện là ta không quan sát được những cái chuyện nó xảy ra xung quanh họ qua những giác quan của họ họ hiểu được họ hiểu làm sao họ hiểu một cái một cái tới, tới một cái tới một cái trình độ đó tức người ta hiểu được nhưng đều ta không hiểu được cái chiều sâu ta hiểu đi sâu vào cái nguồn gốc của những cái sự kiện đó It's very important to understand this wisdom contrary to mastery you mastery you master this much wisdom you go much deeper That's why it's no comparison. Okay? Now, how do you have wisdom? Because of our inability to see it. That's why someone has to tell us this is the reason for it because your sense organs cannot see it. Okay? Going back to why you have no wisdom, you cannot see it because it's too deep. It's beyond your organs. Therefore, someone has to tell you behind all this wall here, behind all these appearances, behind your hair, behind, there's, behind your makeup, there's something else. There's a truth behind it. If you see that and you believe in it at that moment, if I tell you that you are actually the principle, the principle behind it and you believe at that moment, then you have wisdom. You don't have to meditate. Is it clear? Still thinking. You hear it and you believe it. That is wisdom. Small little bit of wisdom. Yes. Text. So that's why when, when the Buddha spoke just a little bit of Dharma to the mission of disciples. The five disciples, they open, they open the wisdom right away because they believed it. At that moment, they believed it. They don't sit there and say, let me see, let me see. Is it consistent with what my, my professor told me? Right. They don't do that. The Buddha says to, 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 uh, to um, uh, not Aniruddha, what's the other one, the first one? Ashnata Kondinya, the first one to awaken. Right. He says, All of you are just gas dust. He said, oh, oh. He became first stage aha. And this is why the Koreans like it. And this is the part of, the, I think, the Buddhist teaching. The Koreans said, wow, I don't have to meditate. I have my wisdom because the Buddha taught me. Yeah, that's what happens. If you believe that moment, that's why it's so important to understand, to listen to all these principles. Okay? And not think. Mm. 
You understand now when you listen to the sutra, you sit there, you sit there, you sit there. You don't think. It's okay to ask questions, but you enter samadhi, then you understand. This is something that's so difficult to understand why I first uh, went to Buddhism. You know, my master says, when you listen to the sutras, you sit there, you don't do anything. Cái này cái mà cái 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 mà thầy thầy cũng hiểu được khi bắt đầu học cái pháp ngày ngồi thường tiêu hóa, ngày nói là quý vị ngồi nghe kinh đó, chỉ ngồi thôi. <coughs> don't think. That's what my, my teacher said. When you listen to sutra, you sit there, don't think. How many of you can do that? Raise your hands. This is very difficult to do. I started to learn the Shenghua Shang. He said, 定静的时候不要想什么要做不要想不要有什么思想也都不要的那时候我不懂的可是你就会你第二个方法可以看你就会就是你你一定你一定的真理 你没有什么想思想，可是马就相信的，那就是智慧，那就是开你的智慧，不必打坐，不必念佛，只要一定一定的真理，你没有什么思想，你没有什么不相信的，你就你马上相信的，那就是你的智慧。See, that's why when you, you, you sit there and you think, right? You say, hmm, this is not consistent with what I understand of the world. This is not consistent with what I know about Buddhism. You think. Okay? But if you sit there and you don't think, and you believe what you're told, because it's a very difficult thing to do, because first, first of all, you are, it's, it contradicts whatever you understand of the world. Okay, yourself says, I understand the world. How come he says something different? Number two, who is he? What kind of principle is this? Is it really a principle or just his, 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 his nonsense? It's a very difficult thing to do. So you have to overcome all this obstruction. And the moment if someone speaks the true principles to you, and you don't question it, and you accept it, that's when you have real wisdom. Wisdom, again, comes from not thinking. Not thinking at all. That's wisdom. You cannot write a paper on wisdom. You cannot explain it. You cannot describe it. Which is something it says, You can only describe it to others. The person who is very wise doesn't go around and say, Eureka, Eureka. You never see a monk running around naked, crying, Eureka, Eureka. I tell you that, never. Why? Because if you have really have wisdom, you become so quiet. You don't say anything. At, at worst, you write a poem. That's it. You ask me, some people who are online write poems, I would say those people are not very bright, but not very wise. They're still so excited. Whereas the big wisdom is nothing to be excited about. Nothing to write about, nothing to talk about. Yes, second question.
Okay? Very difficult I think to explain in Chinese, that's why that's why I apologize to Lu Qing because I don't know how to explain it. Uh tell you I think they do không 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 biết không kim đi. Không nói tiếng Việt được. Cái cái đại khái cái 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 trí huệ lúc mà thầy bắt đầu học với người Pháp ngài Tiền Hoa ngài Tiền Hoa nói là cái vị nghe Pháp á đừng có suy nghĩ ngồi thôi thôi đừng suy nghĩ chỉ ngồi nghe thôi nghe mà giống như không nghe thì đó lúc đầu thầy thắc mắc vậy sao thầy nói chuyện gì kỳ vậy nhỉ tôi muốn học cái pháp mà chỉ ngồi nghe mà coi như mình không nghe sao có chuyện gì kỳ mà sao mình hiểu được nghe mà coi như không nghe là vì sao mình hiểu được cái pháp chính vì đúng đó mới gọi là hiểu được cái đó là vẫn kẹt vào cái hiểu cái này nếu cái vị nghe cái pháp nghe cái chân lý mà không suy nghĩ hết thì lúc đó trí huệ nó mới khai nó mới mở thực sự nó mở ra trí huệ nó chỉ mở ra khi nào cái vị ngừng suy nghĩ thôi còn suy nghĩ suy nghĩ trí huệ nó chưa mở ra được chỉ nghe và tin cái trí huệ cái chân lý đó là trí huệ nó mở ra so Now I repeat to you, now I understand why it is the case. It's a very big struggle because you struggle about what you're thinking, you're comparing from your database, you pull it back from what you heard before, you know before. You pull it out, you compare. That's what we do constantly. And then we analyze. You pull it back from our memory banks and we compare. We analyze and then we agree, okay, okay, this makes sense. So you go through the process. Naturally, you all always to go through that process. Whereas true principles, true wisdom, is that you hear it and you don't think about it. Okay? And you accept it. That is wisdom. Okay? So, if you ask me, That's another form of meditation. It's very difficult for you to sit there and not think. You're sitting there all the time assessing what I say, agree and disagreeing. That's nonsense. Am I saying this in order to stop you from asking questions? No, I'm not. You should ask questions if you have questions. Okay? That's normal. In the process of asking questions and, and hearing the answers, okay, eventually you can get to the point where you stop thinking about it. Because if you have questions, you don't ask questions, you cannot stop thinking about it. See that? So I'm not contradicting myself. I'm not telling you not to ask questions. I'm not ask, not telling you, teaching you not to participate. You see that? Marks are non-marks. I'm telling you not to think. Mark. The mark of thinking. Don't do that. Okay? But you can't. If, you, if I say that, you immediately, if you, you say, oh, I got it, I, I, should not, I should not think. How can you not think? You're thinking all the time. How can you not think? I'm teaching you markers. No, no, think. Okay? But don't be attached to it. Let go. Okay? That's the difficulty of teaching Mahayana. You have to have enough blessings. You have to have to build enough blessings for you to the point where you have so many, you say, that you can stop thinking about it. It's the people who are not blessed enough that cannot stop thinking about it. That's my conclusion. Okay? Cái người, cái mà sao mà, thầy nói cái gì mà sao mà, sao mình có thể ngồi nghe Pháp mà không có suy nghĩ được. Các mình ngồi mình phải thắc mắc nhé. Mình thắc mắc thì nên hỏi. Hỏi để được nghe cái giải đáp để sau này khi nghe nghe mình, mình còn không còn thắc mắc nữa thì mình mới có thể không suy nghĩ được. Chứ thầy không có cấm quý vị hỏi, cũng không có cấm quý vị thắc mắc. 
cái tự nhiên thắc mắc cái tự nhiên okay. thắc mắc thì nên giải đáp cái thắc mắc để sau này không cần hỏi nữa ok any questions about this okay this is a wonderful thing about Mahayana mark as non marks đây là cái tuyệt vời của pháp đại thừa tướng là không tướng tướng là vô tướng tướng là phi tướng nghĩa là sao this this is a beautiful thing he says don't be attached that's all he says whatever you see whatever you observe even my statement don't be attached Don't be attached. You must hear something. You must, you must agree with me or must disagree with me. Don't be attached either. Just listen. That's a, that's a tremendous luxury to be able to listen to the principles and not be attached to it. Tremendous blessings. And that's the bottom line of not being able to think. Is when you have enough blessings, you'll be able to hear the principles and yet not, and accept it without any thinking. And that's exactly what happened to the first five principles, uh, disciples of the Buddha. They heard the Buddha preach a sermon, teach the principles, and they thought and thought, so, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is not consistent what I know. And they keep on listening, listening. And pretty soon, they said, oh, this is beyond what I know. And they said, okay. Open the wisdom. See that? That's the process. Thế rồi, ai không? Là, phải nghe, nghe rồi, nghe khi mà người mà có đại phước á. Đó, tôi nghe những cái, những cái chân lý tôi khó tin lắm ta bắt đầu suy nghĩ suy nghĩ hoài nghĩ không ra không cách nào nghĩ tới được không hiểu cách nào mà hiểu được cái thì nghe hoài nhưng để có cái lòng bị cái phước là có được phát cái lòng tin là cái người đang nói mình là nói sự thật thì họ họ không còn bồn chồn không còn đắn đo nữa nó thôi mình hiểu không được nữa mình không cần hiểu nữa thì bỗng nhiên mở cái trí huệ ngay lập tức cái đó là cái tuyệt vời của cái pháp đại thừa See this? The reason that you are still thinking and you're still assessing, you're still, you're, still, you're still judging is because you have no respect for your teacher. Deep down, you don't respect your teacher. He's saying, this, what does he know? What does she know? Well, I know more than that. I know how. I know better how to run my life. What does he know? Okay. That's because you lack the blessings. Đó là tại vì thiếu cái phước. Ta một cái người thầy mà nói cái lời chân chính, nói cái chân lý, cái vị không tin. It's because you lack the blessings. That's when someone tells you the proper principles, tells you the truth, you don't believe it. You have to you have to see the 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 the, the uh, sharira floating and and going like this, or you see the hair moving. That's all. wow, this is real. That's those are all marks. <laughs> They're all marks. Okay? You guys go, wow, wow, <laughs> this is Buddhism. No, it isn't. All of that came from the principle, the truth. Okay? All of them, all the observations you see, come from one principle, the truth. It's only one truth. Because at one truth, all these things happen. You see sharirs multiply. You see sharirs floating. You see sharirs dancing. You see sharirs moving. All from the one truth. Ultimate truth. Okay? So, we have to show you these phenomenons. We have to show you these marks. 
than to tell you, by the way, they come from non-mark, the one non-mark. Okay? Isn't it wonderful? It's fantastic. It's fun. Any questions? I talk about Yes. So, uh, I mean, you were talking about the Sarah It's not for everyone. Hmm? Whether you're excited or not excited, it, it, it just, they're just phenomenons. Why should we be worried about? I'm not worried about. Okay. Living beings as non living beings. Back to slide 478. Chúng sanh là uh, phi chúng sanh. Living beings, we are basically composed of the five skandhas. This is way beyond science. Trust me. Chúng sanh là ngũ uẩn. Cái ngũ uẩn nó 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 sâu xa, chỉ sâu nó hơn tất cả những khoa học gia có thể hiểu được. It's way beyond science. What scientists can understand. The five skandhas. There's no way the scientists can, can measure what the five skandhas are. What makes us tick is actually driven by the five skandhas. Cái ngũ uẩn là cái 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 cơ cấu của cái chúng sanh. Cái này cái ngoài cái sự tầm hiểu biết của học giả. Họ không thể nào quan sát. They cannot possibly observe it. That's why they will never be able to understand it. Là không cách nào mà hiểu được. There's no way to observe the five skandhas. No way. Okay? That's how. This is the, 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 the depth of the Buddhist understanding. Cái này là cái chiều sâu của cái sự, của cái giáo lý bên Phật giáo. Cách nào mà có thể đo lường được cái, cái ngũ uẩn này? Cách nào được? And yet, we have a mechanism okay, to pierce through it all. Buddhism has a methodology to break through the five skandhas. The cover of the five skandhas. The manifestation of the five skandhas. Nên Phật giáo mình có cái phương pháp để mà, để mà vượt qua cái màng của cái ngũ uẩn này. Okay? And to get to the understanding that that living beings are just what is in Buddhism called all conditions falsely united. Để thấy được cái chân lý là cái chân lý là cái chúng sanh chỉ là ngũ uẩn nó tạm thời những cái những cái duyên nó tạm bờ lại thôi. And this statement is incredible because it's a transcends space, it transcends time. This statement here is timeless and it's boundless. Cái câu này kinh khủng. Quý vị nghe câu nào, quý vị không thể nào mường tượng được là cái câu này nó 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 vô tận về cái thời gian và và không gian luôn. It's timeless. It's boundless. And you say, I'm worried about making a living and paying my rent, my mortgage, and putting gas in my car, and having a happy life. That's bounded. Because your mind is focused on the bounded. That's why you cannot understand the boundless. 
Does it make sense to you? Cái vì nghĩ cái người phàm phu tôi nói tại sao thầy nói trên trời dưới đất vậy? Con đang lo làm tiền để mà trả tiền nhà. Để mà mua xăng. Để mà mua mua áo cho 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 con cái. Mua mua đồ ăn cho nó ăn. Để cho nó lớn. Cho nó khỏe mạnh. Nhà tại cái tâm cái vị đó. Nó tự hạn chế đó. Thầy không thể nào hiểu được cái vô hạn chế Cái câu này là Những cái duyên Nó uh, nó Hư giả, nó tàm bờ Nó hòa hợp lại với nhau Cái câu đó nó, nó vô tận Về không gian và thời gian Ok That's why you struggle with Buddhism With the teaching Bởi vì cái mới, mới, mới thấy, thấy khó khăn Tại vì cái gì Huh? That's because you try to sit there and use your limited mind to understand the unlimited principles. If you keep on doing that, you never be able to understand. If you stop doing that, that's when you understand. Does it make sense? At some point in time, you have to stop, say, stop. I'm not going to try to use my limited mind to understand this. That's when you truly have wisdom. If as long you say, I don't believe you, I disagree with you because this does not make sense to me, that's when you're still relying on the limited to try to understand. Isn't that scary? You depend on a limited for your survival. And that's why you stop. Take the example of you. You worry. You think about too much. That's why you have ulcers. You have stomach problems. You don't care for you and have ulcers. It's just a warning signal. You keep on ignoring that. You worry about your future. You worry about your work. You worry about your responsibilities. Okay? That's why you worry excessively. Therefore, your stomach is not functioning properly. Your digestive system is not functioning properly. That's the only warning signal. Eventually, it's going to manifest itself as stomach ulcers. Okay? So what do you do? You go to see a doctor. The doctor says, okay, don't worry. I'll give you some medication to suppress this. Okay? As long as you take the medication, you'll be okay. Guess what happens? The medication makes it worse because it makes you dependent on it. As soon as you drink or take medication, this is what happened to you. This is why people are so confused and they don't want to understand. They have no clue. You take the medication, it suppresses the symptoms. It doesn't solve the problem. What is the problem? Excessive worries, right? How does the medication help you stop the, uh, ex- your excessive worries? Do they? No. Medication does not stop your worrying. It's, you still worry. But now, you don't have any more problems, right? In your stomach. So that's, that's what happens. You have more strength to worry more. <laughs> right? What does it mean? It means that it gets worse. So you have to take more medication. Stronger doses. Or more medication. Right? That's exactly my proof that you, it's going to get worse. Medication will make it worse. Because it only masks the symptoms. It doesn't fix the problem. And therefore you keep on aggravating it. And it's going to turn into an ulcer. Okay? Exactly. This is, this is why... This is why uh, people trust doctors more than they trust the monks, because the monk speaks nonsense. What do you mean? It's going to get worse. My doctor gave me medication, I, I, drink, I take it, and I feel better already. How can it be wrong? And I say, you wait and see. It's going to get worse. Yes? Like, 
Mm-hmm. You're just a victim. Pre also means preoccupada, meaning you are already a victim. You're helpless. You can't. You can't do anything about it. Okay. So instead, you know, if you all have to, this this is this is why this is why. Uh, the 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 you take you take the, the limited mind to fix your problems. You you you, you cannot see. You have don't have the the big picture. That's why the small using the small mind to fix to fix one part part of the picture is very dangerous. It's very harmful. You ask me. Okay. All right. Going back to slide 478, marks, okay, are the four marks of a self, of others, living beings, and a lifespan are those the four marks. We talk about this in this sutra, in, our, in Buddhism, the marks are the four marks of yourself, of others, of living beings, and a lifespan. Those are the marks. All the marks are fall within those four. Okay, those are marks. Okay. And when you practice, when you practice uh, the so you know you have to you have to empty the four marks. And the Buddhist practice is in order to empty the four marks, you must empty yourself, then you empty the Dharma, and then you empty emptiness. This is the Buddhist recipe. Don't think that, you see, the slide here is extremely profound. You, you, you don't realize that there is a recipe to unravel your confusion. Tương là tứ tướng, tướng là ngã tướng, thọ tướng, chúng sanh tướng, và tha tướng, xin lỗi, ngã tướng, tha tướng, chúng sanh tướng, và thọ mạng tướng. Đó là bốn cái tướng. Bốn cái tướng đó, đó muốn phá bốn tướng đó thì cái phương, phương, phương pháp bên Đại Thừa mình đó, là có có ba cái là mình phải uh, mình phải không cái ngã, không cái pháp và không cái không. Đó là phương pháp để phá cái tứ tướng. Is it clear? This is not, this is, this is, this is not just, just Principle. This is the methodology to break through the confusion. Đây không phải là chỉ là lý thuyết thôi. Đây là cái phương pháp để mà làm để mà phá cái vũ cái 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 mê hoặc của chúng ta. To break through the veil of ignorance we all have. This is what you need to do. Why is it taught in universities? Why? Why not? Because your professors don't know. I'm not. I'm not criticizing them. I'm just saying that it's not their domain or understanding. They understand the words, but they don't know how to do it. In order to truly understand the words, you have to break the self, the dharma, and emptiness. That's the only way. That's why we meditate. Meditation breaks through the self, breaks through the dharma, breaks through the emptiness, for sure. Thành cái phương pháp bên Phật giáo mình nó muốn phá cái tứ tướng nó, mình phải cần phá, mình làm không ba thứ, không cái ngã, không cái pháp, không cái không. Cái phương pháp phải như vậy. Mà tại thầy hỏi tại vì trong 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 chùa mình có một thầy đang học đang đang học đại học để nói tại sao mấy thầy quý vị không dạy như vậy. Họ không dạy như vậy, giáo sư không dạy như vậy tại vì họ chỉ biết cái cái, cái, cái lý thuyết thôi, mà họ không biết cái cách làm. Cách duy nhất mà để thấm nhập được cái lý thuyết là phải làm. 
cách làm là phải có phương pháp để mà phá cái ngã để phá cái pháp để phá cái cái không thì mới có thể thấy được cái lý thuyết chân chính của mình. ok so when you give uh, when you give and the, you practice giving when you pay attention now mahayana is about giving Thành ra cái này thầy nhắc là cái gì cho nó rõ ràng cái, cái pháp đại thường là pháp bố thí You give Mình bố thí Because every time you give Mỗi lần cái vị bố thí Ok Here's what happens to you Three things are not empty Mỗi lần cái vị bố thí có ba cái nó không không Nó vẫn còn The three things that still remain in you. Three things. What are those three things? Keep me both here. Có ba cái nó còn trơ trơ trước mặt cái Number one, you see yourself giving. You see, I am giving. I'm dropping one quarter into a donation box. I am giving today. Am I not? See, he's not giving. I am giving. That's the first. Oh God, I'm giving. Look at him. He's not even giving. Okay? I'm giving. Number two, I'm giving to Master's temple. To Master. Thằng thiết cái vị bố thí nó có, có phải cái việc cái pháp đại thừa mình là pháp bố thí. Tại vì sao? Tại sao? Tại sao gọi là pháp bố thí? Tại vì mỗi lần bố thí ấy, thì cái vị vẫn còn kẹt ba cái. Cái thứ nhất là cái ngã. Tôi đang bố thí mà cái bà kia đã không bố thí. Ok. Tôi, tôi lấy tiền ra tôi, tôi xoay là ba vòng rồi tôi để vào cái bao đỏ thọc cái bao dài cột như tôi để vào cái, 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 cái thùng xương. Còn người thấy người kia không? Cái bao, bao, bao đỏ nó lé rồi. Okay. Tôi đừng bố thí Người ta không bố thí okay. Tôi vẫn thí cho thầy Cái thứ gì mà cái vẫn còn Chứ không là quý vị thấy Quý vị bố thí cho ông thầy này okay. Người ta chỉ biết chỉ biết tới tới cho chùa tới. You see, I'm giving to the temple Whereas my mother She gives to churches I'm better I have more blessings Okay, you still see, you still see the receiver. Okay, the receiver is not empty yet. Number three, you still see your money, you still see your your gift. Cái thứ ba là cái gần thấy cái đồ bố thí. Okay, you say, my goodness. Every 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 week, I uh, I go to the temple. I bring I bring grocery to the temple, cook for the temple, and yet he doesn't seem to appreciate it. My God! He nói là cứ cuối cuối tuần là tôi lò mò đi chợ, tôi đem đồ ăn tới chợ chùa, tôi nấu ăn cho chùa. Hình như thầy thầy không 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 thèm để ý tới tôi nữa. Okay. You still see something being given. The three things. What are those three things? You, the giver. Me, the receiver. And number three, you, the gift you're using, the, the, you're giving. And that's why Mahayana we say keep giving. Bởi vậy đại thừa mình nói cái vị cứ bố thí tiếp đi con. Nếu mà con nếu mà con bố thí mà còn thấy ba cái đó ba cái đó mà chưa không là cái vị con cứ tiếp phải bố thí nhiều hơn nữa. Thì Mahayana he said oh, I teach Mahayana I say if you you give to the temple and you still see yourself giving or the receiver or the gift keep giving more. I'm not shy about it. 
That's why Mahayana is a dharma of giving. You keep on giving and giving and giving until all those three things disappear. That's when you have wisdom. That's when you truly have wisdom. Then mới đại thừa mình dạy cái việc cứ cho cứ cúng dường đi con cúng dường đi. So your your parents and your ancestors taught, taught you the proper thing. Go and give. Keep on giving and giving and giving and giving. Okay? As you get older and you get wiser and you begin to see those three things as empty, that's when you have true wisdom. That's when you become truly happy. Because when you give and you say, my God, he doesn't appreciate this. This is why I do have to keep on giving. I give. He and he, he mistreat me. He doesn't show his gratitude. Thằng cái vị bố thí mà, mà, mà cứ nói là than phiền đó, to, to, con bố thí quá trời, con, con, con giúp chùa quá trời mà thầy vẫn, vẫn lạnh nhạt với lạnh đục với con. Con lái xe lặn lội từ xa ngôi xe tới đây để mà tu với thầy. Mà thầy nhìn con như là người dưng nước lã vậy đó. Con bố thí mà thầy không cảm động tí nào hết. Okay, so it's like, like a, a student that says that uh, she drove all the way to San Jose, from San Jose to here to do the, the Chan Chi. And he said, hi, master. I look at her. And, and she was so upset. He says, how can my own teacher can be so cold and so, so, uh, so uh, uncaring for me when I, I, I drove such a long distance and I took my time off and to come here to study and, 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 you know, and, and support the temple. And, and, and yet he shows no appreciation whatsoever. That's when I get colder. <laughs> Keep you until I warm up. <laughs> okay? Because when you practice giving, okay, this is what you're supposed to be doing when you give. You watch the three things. Are they empty yet? Thành phương pháp bố thí là như vậy. Quý vị bố thí, mà bố thí để làm gì? Bố thí để mà coi thử là ba... Cái, cái, cái xe đó nó không chưa cái ngã xe à, à, cái, 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 cái người nhận xe với là cái quà xe nó có không chưa nếu nó chưa nó xe tại vì cái, cái, cái phải tiếp tục bố thí tiếp chứ chừng nào nó không thôi it's called the wheel the three wheels the three wheels of the self of the giver the receiver and the gift is any are they are they all empty that's what you're supposed to do when you give You don't give and hope the master notices. That's when you have to, and that's when it doesn't count. Nếu cái vị bố thí mà 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 mong là thầy được chú ý, biết để ý là mình bố thí là cái đó nó không tính gì hết. Thầy không coi đó là gọi là bố thí. I don't look as as giving. Keep at it. Yeah, give it. Keep on giving until until. <laughs> give more. <laughs> Until you don't care anymore, you just give. You don't think about it. That's how bodhisattvas work. They give without thinking about it. You understand there's a difference between giving and not thinking about well and giving. Meaning you give and you don't think about it. It doesn't mean you're stupid. I'm not talking about stupidity. I'm not talking about you giving up your life and mortgaging your house and everything else. I'm saying about, about I'm, I'm talking about giving when you have the chance to give and don't think about it. Đây là pháp đại thừa mình cứ bố thí đó. Bố thí có nghĩa là có vị điên rồi, nhắm mắt làm càng. Bán nhà bán cửa, bán vợ bán con. Okay? Mình bố thí. So the dharma behind the, the dharma is 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 You keep on giving and giving until it all becomes empty. You don't even think about it. That's when you are near perfection. You understand that? You understand that? This is the most difficult thing to do because, because you think you got it. That's when you realize you still think about it.
And that's why even bodhisattvas still practice giving. You see? It's not just you or me. Also the bodhisattvas practice giving. Because when they practice giving, that's when they discover that it's still not totally empty yet. That's why they're not Buddhas yet. And this is something hard for, especially for, for foreigners. No, I can't say foreigners. I'm a foreigner. The, the, white, the white people are not foreigners. <laughs> I'm the foreigner. <laughs> this is why, why the non-Buddhists or the, the, the Westerners, the Western educated people, have a hard time understanding. Okay? All right. Any questions? Okay, 479. Mm. Here's what happens. That's why I started talking about Hinayana and Mahayana. Hinayana is rationalization. You assess too much. That's why you worry. About being wrong, about being right. about benefits and loss, gains and losses. Uh, trong tấm 479 là nói về cái cái đắng đo. Cái đắng đo cái tính toán đây là cái 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 sơ khuyết của bên bên nguyên thủy. Nên tại vì cái vị cần đắng đo suy nghĩ thì cái gì bắt đầu là you worry when you rationalize. Okay? As soon, according to the Chan Master Phổ Diện, his advanced teacher. Cái ngài Phật Nhãn này là một ngài thiền sư trình độ rất là cao. He says, as soon as you rationalize, it's very hard to understand the Chan I'm teaching. Ngài nói là một khi mà quý vị bắt đầu suy nghĩ đó, là quý vị khó mà hiểu được cái thiền tâm mà ta đang dạy, thầy đang dạy. Okay? And you have to stop rationalizing before you can get the, the, the principles. Quý vị phải ngừng suy nghĩ, quý vị mới có thể hiểu được. Okay. And then he also further said, uh, he says, I know you educated people who hear this kind of talk, and therefore they say that uh, there's nothing to say, there's no reason for it. There's nothing to say. Why is there nothing to rationalize about? There's no reason, there's no need to rationalize about. And therefore, when they make, take that position, then they don't realize they're actually rationalizing. thì ngài mới dặn tiếp là có những cái người nhất là cái thời buổi này á, thời buổi đời này đời thời đại hiện hiện đại này có những người có học thức người thông minh người hiểu biết khôn ngoan thì nói nên như vậy thì đâu có gì để mà nói đâu có gì không có lý cần có lý do gì cả thì đó à, thì họ không không có hiểu không có ngờ rằng là họ đang đắn đo khi mà nói cái câu này questions about this Such a quiet audience. He's still thinking about it. Okay. Of course. That's why I didn't ask the question. Of course. It's very difficult to understand. There's nothing to understand. Okay. This is for the advanced. Hmm? Okay, 480. And the Buddha says, you should. You should look at marks as non-marks. Living beings, non-living beings. The word emphasis is a should. Thần cái Đức Phật Ngài dạy, Ngài dạy Thú Bồ Đề nó là con biết không? Bồ Tát là nên. Chữ nên là nó quan trọng. Ưng. Chữ cổ văn là ưng. Should mean you should contemplate and practice accordingly. Uh, 
ứng này có nghĩa là cái gì nên quán như vậy và nên thực hành như vậy như cách nào how should you how should you okay the should here the first thing says he does is that you should point look at yourself don't look at your neighbors thứ nhất hết là cái ưng này nên này có nghĩa là cái vị nên nhìn tới cái bản cái cá nhân mình đừng có nhìn tới người đang nhìn người khác đúng lúc cái đó thì ok you ask you tell yourself I should I should look at Mark as non Marks but am I that's the meaning of the should nên này có nghĩa là ta nên chúng ta nên như để chúng ta đang làm là không có thể làm là không ok and uh, the one thing the beautiful thing about this slide here is point number four cái trong cái tấm bốn trăm tám mươi này cái câu cái phần thứ ba này cái phần thứ tư này nó quan trọng tôi nguyện là làm lợi ích cho tất cả chúng sanh I should Okay. I vowed as a Buddhist to benefit all living beings. I should benefit all living beings. Am I? Khi 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 mình là người Phật tử thì người, người Phật tử khi mà quy với quy với Tam Bảo thì họ lập cái nguyện là tôi nguyện là làm lợi ích cho tất cả chúng sanh. Tôi nên lợi ích tất cả chúng sanh. Tôi đang làm như vậy là không. Okay. Why? Why is that? If you vow to benefit all living beings, okay, then you should stop discriminating the legals versus il- the illegals, the men versus the women. The Korean versus the Vietnamese. You should benefit them all. Why aren't you? Okay? And this is this frees you from your discriminating mind. If you're still discriminating, you're still discriminating. That means you're still falling short. It's your fault. No one else's. That's what the meaning of the should. It has nothing to do with anyone else. It's all about you. You should, but are you? Chỉ nên là quan trọng. Mình nên lợi ích tất cả chúng sanh. Tại sao mình còn phân biệt giữa người Việt Nam với là người Mỹ? I have this all the time on my Facebook page, especially the Vietnamese side. They're so proud. They say, I only want to read in Vietnamese. I don't care about English, Chinese. You know? I'm proud to be Vietnamese, they say. This is the Vietnamese Buddhism. Okay? Master. You went to the U.S. and you learn Buddhism from the U.S. You learn from a Chinese and you don't understand the Vietnamese Buddhism. Master, don't criticize Vietnamese Buddhism. Don't belittle Vietnamese Buddhism. Very proud of it. You can't, you can't tell, tell them otherwise. You're so proud of it. They said, this is national, this national spirit. You know, I'm Chinese. I'm Korean. I buy Korean. I only drive Japanese car because I'm Japanese. You know that? I know of a, of a, a Japanese uh, reverend. He drives Japanese cars. He goes out upstate, gets to the airport, he gets to a car rental company. You know what he wants? He wants a Japanese car. Otherwise, he does not want to rent one. 
Uh, he is a Buddhist reverend. Well, he lives here in America? Yes, sir. Yeah, he lives here by America. That's a <laughs> Then aren't you favoring Americans? Of course I am. Then you're not benefiting all living beings. But you know I'm Buddhist, that's okay. The Buddhists are superior. You understand? It's about yourself. It's not about, it's about him. Whether he wants to be American, buy American, or buy Chinese, or buy uh, Japanese, or buy Korean. It's all those are, are there discriminating. It's okay. The true Buddhist, the true wise people are the ones who actually use this, use this paradigm, use this, 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 viewpoint, this perspective, to let go of their discriminating mind. Thì cái người, cái người mà hiểu, Phật tử người ta hiểu, ta lập cái nguyện đại thừa đó là tôi cầu nguyện cứu tất cả chúng sanh, cứu độ tất cả chúng sanh. Thì nhờ cái, cái tự phương hướng này, xin lỗi, sẽ bớt cái tâm phân biệt, sẽ bớt cái tâm đáng đò. It's about this vow here, is the one that liberates you from your discriminating mind. It's critical in liberating you from your discriminating mind and, and your narrowness and your pettiness. Cái lời nguyện nó quan trọng như sao? Cái người Phật tử bên mình, Đại Thừa mình, nó có cái lời, đại lời như đó là mình có được cái, những cái nguyện lực này để giúp chúng ta thoát được cái sự eo hẹp, cái tâm eo hẹp, cái tâm, cái tâm hẹp hoài của, 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 của phàm phu. Okay. Uh, so I vow to benefit all living beings. But why am I so lazy? Why am I so intent on sleeping more? Why do I intend on scheming benefit myself more than others on the, at the expense of others? Okay. Cái người, cái người Phật tử mà có được cái lập nguyện đại nguyện nó nói là nếu như vậy lập cái nguyện đại nguyện là cứu tất cả chúng sanh là tại sao chúng tôi vẫn tôi vẫn còn nhát nhát lười biếng như vậy, vẫn ham ngủ ham ăn. Tại sao mà vẫn, vẫn bưu toan để mà làm tư lợi? We only scheme to benefit ourselves at the expense of others. What's so great about it? Please tell me. Hmm? So you ahead. And then what? Questions? I thank Mark Nikon. Okay, you should. The should here is very important. You should. Are you? The should here is designed to help you look at yourself and ponder are you really acting in wisdom or in selfishness? The cái chữ ưng này, chữ nên này á, là giúp quý vị, cái mục tiêu nó, cái dùng nó dùng ý nó là giúp cái vị từ 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 quán chiếu coi thử mình đang làm đúng theo cái chính pháp là không đúng cái chân lý là không mình đang sống trong 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 cái cái trí huệ là sống trong cái sự mê muội to the should here help you examine yourself are you acting in wisdom are you acting out of pettiness? That's what the should means. And no one's judging you. Okay? Trust me. I'm not judging you. I'm only saying you should. Okay? Four eighty one. Sutra text. Shubhuti, the Tathagata is one who speaks the truth, who speaks the actual, who speaks what is so, who, who does not speak what is false, who does not speak what is not so. Shubhuti, Ulai, Shu Chen Yu, Shu Hua, 
，如语者，无狂语者，无意语者。Tôi vừa đề như lai nói lời chân, nói lời thật, nói lời như, nói không nói dối, không nói sai khác. That just describes the nature of the Buddha's words. Đó mới mô tả những cái lời nói, những lời giáo hôn của Đức Phật. Every single thing he uttered okay, are characterized by you know, As such, he says, all marks are spoken of the Buddha as uh, Thakata as no marks. Thứ nhất nói là tất cả những cái tướng mà Như Lai tả đều thiệt ra là nô tướng, không có tướng, là thi tướng. Basically, he says, all marks are devoid of marks, meaning that don't attach to anything you see or hear or you perceive. Nhắc lại, tướng là phi tướng, người quý vị thấy tướng nhưng đừng có chấp vào cái tướng. It doesn't mean you dead. Doesn't mean you 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 are blind. Doesn't mean you deaf. Không nghĩa cái vị chết rồi. Không nghĩa cái vị là mù. Không nghĩa cái vị là 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 đần độ. Okay. It only means you receive, perceive those things, and yet you don't get afflicted. Có nghĩa cái vị cảm thọ những cái chuyện này mà không có bị phiền não. Is it clear? You don't get afflicted. That's when you're not attached to marks. Không có bị phiền não, tức là cái phiền không chấp vào cái tướng. No marks means don't get afflicted. Phi tướng nghĩa cái vị đừng có bị phiền não. If you're still afflicted, then you're still attaching to marks. Nói cách khác, cái vị mà còn phiền não, cái vị đang còn chấp tướng. Is it clear? It's not an intellectual discussion. Cái này không phải để nói bàn luận cái chuyện, cái chuyện, cái chuyện bàn 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 luận với nhau. Mà cái chuyện mình làm. It's about self-examination, tự quán chiếu đấy. Okay. And he says all living beings are spoken of so as are no living beings. No living beings, uh, uh, because originally the self nature is Buddha itself. Vô chúng sanh mà nói đó, Phật nói đều là phi chúng sanh, phi chúng sanh tại vì cái 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 bản tính của họ là thiệt sự đã đã là Phật rồi. Okay, the non living beings is actually deep down there are are, are Buddhas. You cannot look at them as living beings. Be more respectful. Nói cách khác, khi mà nói chúng sanh là phi chúng sanh có nghĩa là phi chúng sanh có nghĩa là họ thiệt sự họ không phải là cái 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 tướng của chúng sanh thiệt sự mà cái 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 bản tính của họ là Phật rồi. Thành ra không thể kinh thương họ được, không thể không thể nào mà chà đạp họ được. You cannot disregard them, you cannot discredit them, you cannot you cannot you cannot insult them. Okay? You cannot you cannot uh, uh, you cannot um, Uh, you you have to be more respectful, okay. And hearing of that, people may become frightened, terrified, or, or give rise to doubts. That's why the Buddha now reassured Shubhuti. Uh, Shubhuti, my words are true and honest, and they're frank to the point. Okay. Then Đức Phật khi mà cái phần trước Đức Phật nói là chúng chúng sanh là phi chúng sanh mà tướng là phi tướng đó. Thì Ngài mới biết là nói như vậy Chúng sanh không thể nào hiểu được Thành sợ Đông cái tâm sinh, sinh nghi ngờ ra okay, Thành Đức Phật mới nói cái phần này Nói là bây giờ đừng có sợ gì hết Cái lời nói của ta là chân thật okay. Thẳng thắng Và không quanh nó có Buddha basically Would not lie unlike we Because the Buddha Don't waste the time And have too much respect for you To lie to you. Đức Phật không nói lao, không nói dối chúng ta, không lừa gạt chúng ta. Tại vì, tại vì chúng, Đức Phật cũng có thời giờ để đi, đi lừa gạt người khác. Mà Đức Phật tôn trọng chúng ta. Thành cái thể nào gạt, lừa gạt chúng ta làm gì? If you truly respect others, you would never even consider taking advantage of them, or even even cheat them, or lie to them. 
mình thiệt sự cái người tôn trọng người khác làm sao nghĩ đến chuyện mà đi lừa gạt hoặc lợi dụng người ta được phải right? think about it you only take advantage of others because you don't have enough respect for them period mình lợi dụng người khác tại vì mình không đủ không không có đủ cái, cái kính trọng người ta mình mới lợi dụng người ta thôi think about it ok and the buddhas here you can uh, you can rest assured that buddhas don't lie and more importantly as a buddha he preaches the truth the tr- the, the principle of true suchness những cái lời mà phật dạy đó, nó, 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 nó nó từ nó, nó, nó chứa đựng cái, 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 cái chân lý của cái, của cái chân như phật đang, đang chỉ về cái chân như là cái gì When the Buddha speaks Dharma, he speaks of true suchness. That's why when you spend time reading sutras, investigating sutras, you investigate investigating the truth, the ultimate truth. Thành khi quý vị đọc kinh, tụng kinh, khi quý vị nghiên cứu kinh điển, là quý vị đã nghiên cứu về cái chân như. Cái, cái sự chân thật tối thượng This is the absolute truth The ultimate truth Okay The Thakatas Do not speak False words uh, Như Lai không có nói Những cái lời sai Or would not expound the strange and weird principles in order to arouse panic and alarm. Như Lai cũng không nói những cái lời kỳ gì, có những cái lời cua uh, quả, lý uh, thuyết cua quả, để cho khiến cho chúng sanh sợ sệt và, và khủng hoảng. Yesterday, we were at the, week, at, the, uh, at the bookstore signing as per our website. Ngày hôm qua, thầy với một, uh, bốn, bốn người khác tới cái... Tới cái, cái cái, uh, cái tìm sách đó để mà để mà uh, giảng về thiền và, và uh, uh, chia sẻ cuốn sách thiền với, 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 với khách hàng của họ. Uh, and uh, after we done around a quarter to five, a woman came in. Sau khi làm xong rồi khoảng chừng 15 phút còn lại đó, we finish early because uh, um, uh, 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 was uh, uh, closer to. Uh, 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 ice cream time so I figure we should finish early and prepare for and relax a little bit and wine a little bit before we go get some ice cream mm. yeah. and and um, and uh, uh, a woman came in and she, she she had this strange look in her eyes and she speaks nonsense constantly she sees things she hears things it's all nonsense so she says that he's sick and he's you know And he should know about the fact that Xian Chie is sick, he has kidney problems, and if and uh, he's going to find out in five months, that it's going to be real. So you can do something about it now, or or in five months he have in, he'll be in serious trouble. Okay, and Xian Chie, oh, oh my God, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so glad, I'm so glad you tell you told me. And and um, so in order to help Xian Chie out, Master asked her. I said, so what does, she, what does he need to do? He says, you can pray. You fix it. Hallelujah. So I asked. I asked him. I asked her. I said, who do you pray to? I asked her because I want to make it personal. I said, not about him anymore. I said, do I have any sickness? <laughs> do you have any illness? <laughs> And she looked at me and said, I'm not sure. Okay. So she failed my test immediately. Okay. She can't even see me. How can she talk about a shock talk about what I'm going to need? But I'm seeing things. I, you know, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that. And, and I say, okay, well, that's wonderful. You're seeing those things. Okay. And she can't stop talking. She, she spills her guts. She says, I see so many things around you. What is that? 
Marx. So Marx. So garbage. You understand it, Vicky? When people talk like that, they're talking about garbage. Right? To ask her, I'm respectful. I don't laugh. I don't turn white with fear and panic and alarm. I ask her. So now I have a problem. I have all these problems. I didn't realize, realize I have so many problems. She says, can't you see these problems? I said, no. So, so I asked, if, so what do I need to do now? She says, pray. Okay? And Kim Dean is going to love this. I, I can't explain in Vietnamese because I, I'm running out of time. So I ask her, I ask her, huh? who do I pray to? She says, she's very good. She says, I don't know about you, but me, I would pray. So I said, who do you pray to? You see, I'm very precise in my questions. I ask about me first. She said, I don't know who you pray to. Okay. Okay. But she said, I what I pray to. That's, she's, she's good in that. She's who, who. Who, 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 so I said, who do, who do you pray to? And she says, I pray to God. The eternal healer. Univer- the universal healer. He heals everything. That's when I said, okay, good luck. The problem that I have, I assure you God cannot help Am I disrespectful anyway? The whole conversation has changed. Because I respect the self nature as a Buddha already, even though there she's kind of a cuckoo. Cuckoos are also Buddha deep down, you know. Seriously. Kim didn't stop taking notes because this is too too insulting. <laughs> okay? Here's what happens. This is what you discern between a true teacher and a non-teacher. The true teachers do not do things and say things, even though you don't understand. But whatever they understand is not on purpose to arouse panic or alarm. It's not their purpose. It's to help you understand the truth that you cannot possibly see. Okay? Và cuối cùng thầy nói là cái Đức Phật như là Đức Phật dạy ở đời chân thật là cái dùng ý của Ngài là không bao giờ để mà cái gì tạo cái sự hoang mang hoặc là khủng hoảng tinh thần công nhận là những lời nghe người dạy của ngài nó khó hiểu khó mà thâm nhập nhưng điều nó dùng nghĩ nó không phải để mà tạo sự hoang mang cho quý vị okay. uh, it's contrary to to the effectiveness of that woman yesterday is her a lot of words she, she said was to create fear in you that you better be afraid because if you're not afraid in time, I can't help you. You agree or disagree? That's her message. I know so much. You better listen to me. You better believe me. Otherwise, you're going to be in big trouble. So let's, in five months, let's see whether Sien Chie is going to make it or not. Okay, any final questions? You understand? All the words she said, she uttered yesterday is to establish credibility. She knows, and she knows what to do. Only two types. I know, I know what to do. That's when they lose all credibility to me.
if you know, aren't you attached to marks? Nếu quý vị nói một cái vị nói là tôi biết, thì quý vị cũng phải đang nói là tôi, thì quý vị đang kẹt và chấp tướng không? I know, meaning I'm attached to marks. I see all these marks. I believe all these marks. I can help you. Cái gì là tôi thì giúp quý vị được. Cái bà đó nói tôi giúp quý vị được. Các bạn đang chấp vào cái tướng đó. Cái khả năng của bạn. Chị chấp đang chấp vào cái khả năng của bạn. She's attached to her ability to help. Far inferior. Hmm? If it's so great, why is she so attached to her ability to help? If it's so great, it should, helping should be like no helping. Hmm. Thấy cái, 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 cái pháp đó, nó còn nó còn nó còn tầm thường không? Thứ nhất là nói nói cái bà nói cái bà ngoại đạo nói tôi nói người la nói nói trên trời dưới đất nói tầm bậy tầm bạ không? Okay. Là còn chấp vào cái tướng của cái biết. Rồi cái phần thứ nhì là bà nói tôi có thể giúp quý vị được, tôi có thể giúp ông được là cái đang chấp vào cái khả năng của mình. Nếu thực sự có khả năng thì đâu cần giúp thì cũng giống như không giúp. Đâu cần, đâu cần phải chấp nó làm gì, cần nói người ta làm gì. Chấp tướng không à. Mà phải cần nói như vậy, người đời mới tin tưởng người ta được. All right, that's all I have for today. Any questions? Uh. Ai thắc mắc gì không? Ok. Then, uh, let's wrap it up. And, uh, transference. And then, uh, enjoy Sunday afternoon. Distribution body is done. Be all oh born a land of utmost bliss. Thank you.